Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. I just want to go through all these lovely faces over here. And is there one up here? Slowly. There we go. Okay, your face isn't actually all that amusing. Okay, so everyone just woke up, I guess? Yeah. Oh, I didn't... I didn't notice that. I was thinking that, like, in the same way that um, the food disappears when you start the game after pausing it for a while, although it looks like we just don't actually have any food. Um, okay, we don't have meal ice, so I'm actually gonna switch to mush bars so nobody starves to death. Um, yeah, I, I thought that they just all got up out of bed as part of, like, the game being paused or resuming from, like, not playing the game. But I guess that's not the case. So, um, I just happened to unpause it right as they were waking up, which is pretty interesting. Everyone looks to be having a fine time. I don't know why there's so much water up here. Oh, you know what? It, it flooded. That's what it was. And so they mopped it up. And I guess they mopped it into things? Is that something that they can do now? Because if so, that's a great way to, like, preserve matter. Because I think in, in the past, if this is truly the case, and I think it is, um, they would just mop it up and it would just disappear, or at least it seemed to disappear, but now we get to keep it. So... Don't have to worry about mopping, just getting rid of water, which is pretty nice. This is getting a little bit full, which is mildly worrying because we're not going to be spending too much more polluted water. Um, what I can do is... where's my, the refinement thing? Um, <clears throat> we can use polluted water to produce fertilizer, but we don't really need fertilizer. Um, yeah, I guess... I guess we'll do the water purifier. I think the algae distiller uses water and produces polluted water, so I don't want to add another thing that's producing polluted water, because this is, this is quite a bit. And, you know, as soon as it gets to this point, um, it's gonna, like, start posing a threat that it's gonna leak and just fall onto everything. Um, so I might dig the pit bigger at that point, or I might try to find a way to use up all of that polluted water. <clears throat> Yeah, why, why are you even over- oh, because they're sweeping. Right, we needed- okay. So, the plan for this episode, I think, was power over here, um, and fixing the oxygen problem over here. And I also know that I wanted to put down more storage items. I don't remember where I wanted to do that. I'm gonna have them clean this up. Um, I guess it could be- no, I think this, this whole place was gonna be the hospital. Although I don't think we need a huge hospital. I'll keep it- I'll keep this level for something else, though. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put some more storage just over here. I should probably put down flooring. Keep it- keep it looking nice. So I'll put down some flooring right over there. And add storage thingies uh, over here. They're far away from everything, so like, realistically they're not that useful because I'll have to walk all the way over here to get anything out of storage. But, I mean, it's extra storage, and we have, we have way too much stuff right now. Gonna get this new duplicate. Who do we have? You can't build. You have bad athletic skills, you have bad strength, and you fall asleep all the time. But you're a caregiver, which means you're good at medicine, you have a stronger immune system, and you have a small... or a, 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 You don't expect a lot of decor. Okay, you eat a lot, you cry a lot, and you're destructive, so never you. Um, well, this guy looks pretty nice. I don't like the binge eating thing, although no one's getting super stressed, so I'm not sure if that's a problem. And he's less likely to get stressed just because he has, like, a low decor expectation and he'll eat really terrible food. So, I mean, and he's good in a lot of things, mildly. So I think I want to go with him. He can at least dig or put stuff down or whatever. So let's go with that guy. And I guess he'll just crawl off to sleep, which we have beds for, so that's nice. Oh, this isn't even hooked up. Do the lights don't go on at night? That's probably more because they don't have electricity than that they're not supposed to go on at night. So let's just hook this up to the rest of the grid, which I guess we'll do it that way. It's not the most- uh, well, put an extra wire there. It's not the most efficient way because we could probably just bring this up and it would be a lot faster and would re require a lot less um, wire. But we're eventually probably going to have some stuff over here that requires electricity anyway. So we might as well. Um, this coal generator. So this is going to go here. 
And I guess I could just put it down anywhere. Um, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space actually, because I'm going to need a... Uh, where's the transformer? Oh, we don't have that yet? Well, how much capacity does a wire take? It takes a thousand watts, and how much power does this put out? It puts out 600 watts, so you know, we don't actually need this next to... We don't need this connected to a power transformer. So I'm just gonna put that through. Um, and that's gonna destroy the ground, so I'm gonna tell them to put some tiles down. In the future, I guess, when we have a hydrogen generator and all that stuff, I guess... I guess we'll have a power transformer, like, somewhere over here, and then everything that uses high-level power will be... It'll be put through the power transformer and then put into the regular wires. And then it can go to these batteries and everything. Which I should probably add another one. Because it's nice to have power at night for, like, oxygen purposes. And... Is that it? Is that all we really need over here? Oh, okay, so let's research. <clears throat> power transformer would be nice. But I needed... We needed... Oh, no, no, we already got the gas stuff that we need, I think. Hydrofan. Oh, this is interesting. More temperature modulation stuff. Um, we can make clothing. Can we, like, design clothing? That's really cool. Okay. I don't know why that's in insulation at all. I mean, I feel like that would be in, like, decor or something, but it- whatever. Um, let's get the- yeah, before we go to this, we, we definitely need to use this, but you know what? I should just get this, um, that oxygen generation. Just in case, just for safety purposes, to have that available would be nice. And how close are you guys to finishing this up? Not, not very close. Come on, there you go. So, they'll put the coal into here. I wonder how much coal we actually have. Is it consumable ore? Yes, it is. Oh, we have a ton. Okay, so that's gonna power the colony for quite a bit. Uh, the problem I have with coal is that it's not renewable. Um, I don't like using, I mean, you've probably been able to tell this from every series that I've had, but I really don't like uh, using things that aren't renewable because it just scares me in the future when that thing runs out. Um, you're gonna have to like entirely switch up the infrastructure to allow for that. Ooh, oh that produces a lot of carbon dioxide I guess. So that's not cool. But we have a door there, so that'll protect that. Um, ventilation, we can get, pump gas around. We probably need... Do we need oxygen in here, actually? Do we? How's the... Oh, I probably should have just clicked on this. Okay. Really, really bad oxygen in here. So I can add one of these things in the corner. I don't know if that's the best spot for it. Um, but it's there, and I think it needs to be hooked up. There we go. So that'll that'll help this situation. And I think the rest of the colony is doing alright. Yeah. There's a couple more not as bright spots as, as before. Like this is not great over here. Um but it's not terrible and the machines are still working, which means I guess we still have a decent amount of algae. Yeah. Still have a, a, an okay amount. Um I'm gonna be really scared when that algae runs out, though, because I'm probably not gonna notice, and then everyone's gonna start dying, and then I'm gonna be wondering why. Um, how are these doing? I think I think the check marks mean that everything is okay with these. They're growing fine, and they're they're pretty close to being full grown, which is nice because we ran out of food there for a bit, and they're eating mush bars, which you know I, I don't envy them for. Yeah, and they can't make the most fries because they're eating these bars before they have time to manufacture them into something better. Which is kind of unfortunate because they could be getting more calories out of that. But they're not. Um, so yeah, when when are these gonna grow up? Pretty soon, I think. Yeah, that they're getting there. Okay, so who's the most stressed? Mima. Mima? Oh, you're the new one. Do you have diarrhea? Um, you're hungry and you have soggy feet. Now, where's the soggy feet coming from? I guess if they're over here... Oh, you know when they use this thing. Yup. When they use this, they get uh, soggy feet. And I can't really fix that because it's just kind of overflowed. Eventually, all of this water is gonna run out. It's probably gonna take its sweet time. But it'll... Yeah, it's slowly running out, so... That'll probably fix that. That's just a waiting thing. Uh, what else can we research? Oh yeah, power regulation. Let's do that. Let's get that going. 
Me mom's still upset? Yeah, she's still the most upset anyway. So, you know, since we don't have a terrible um, amount of stress going on, let me lower this to like 50. Oh, that's really hard. Mm, right in the middle. There we go. Okay, and then this will go down to 20. Come on. There we go. And then this will pick up- oh, this is the really stressed out one. Okay, no one's that, like that stressed out, so we'll bring it down to 70. 70. And we'll take it to like 50. Okay, so I guess mm, this is really difficult. Okay, so when Mima over there hits 50, she'll go on this thingy. Um, but what I might do is... Do I have room for another one? Yeah. Put that right here, and then um, add that to the grid. I'm not gonna lie, I left the room for a couple minutes, actually, to have a conversation, and I completely forgot what I was talking about last. It was probably about this massage table. So, I'm gonna lower this, so that way, I guess anyone at, like, it could really be 20, takes this, so that way nobody gets stressed. Um, cause this brings them down to 20, yeah. So if anyone gets to 50, they'll go on this thingy. And then, once they're down to 20, they can go on this thingy, and then, like, the really stressed out people can start over here. And it might be a better idea when everyone's so low in the stress department to just have everyone be able to go on a massage table, but I want to keep it just free for the highest stressed people, just in case. I don't want a repeat of the last series, because that was pretty terrible. Um, yeah, the reason people are probably stressed is the lack of food. And considering we have meal ice, um, I'm gonna wait till someone squeezes that out, because I'm not sure if by cancelling it, it, like, undoes it. I don't know. Finish that. Okay. Do lice loaf. That works. So, are you guys doing that? Nope. I didn't. Okay. Lice loaf. Do it. I'm sure you can just, you know, you gotta harvest it first, but we're, we're close. Just don't eat the actual lice because, or you can do that. You're gonna be very upset with the quality of the food. So, um, enjoy. Oh, you just left it in there? Why? Oh, now it's being exposed to pollution. I wonder what that does. That has very, very few calories just on its own. Flavorless grain that never wiggles on its own. So it's a grain? I thought it was lice. I thought it was actual worms. But they're... I, I, I hmm. guess that's why you can make it into a loaf. But you can make meat into a loaf. You can make a lot of things into a loaf. Oh, did we... Only this one table ran out of power? How, how is this going? Apparently not great. I was hoping this would supply a little bit more power. It should be steadily producing 600, because it always has coal in it. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's not filling up a little bit faster. I guess they're kind of full. I don't know. There's very little, very little power on that. So yeah, we're gonna need those hydrogen generators soon. So I think... Hydrogen generators, it's probably best to put them on the bottom so that way all the air can go upwards. Which, I don't know where that would be actually, considering there's a pond right here. So it's not going to be super useful to... What I, hmm. what I can do is I can try to put one down over here. Uh, I don't know if the water's going to break through. I really hope the water won't break through. What is that? It might. I'm scared. Oh no, okay, because that's that's stone. The sand looks a little bit suspect, but I think the stone should be fine. Um, and then I can cover that up, and then that helps them dig out some algae, which is pretty nice, because we could use a little bit more of that, I'm sure. Well, yeah, because we're, we're, we're running out of it pretty quickly. So, let's get this new oxygen producer over here. Um, I don't know where the clean water is. So just bring the uh, power this way. Where Where is our clean water? Okay, looks like it's over here. Um, I can have it skip over this pipe. Can I do that? Oh no, can I? Can I? Oh, I can do that, okay. So I'm gonna have it skip over that pipe. And then it can run, I guess, just straight down there. That's a little bit scary, because if any of those accidentally connect- Well, if I accidentally connect any of those, that's that's gonna create some problems. Um, cool. So, that'll produce some oxygen as well as some hydrogen. And I, I think that the hydrogen floats upwards. I guess it's right over here. I think it's gonna float upwards, 
and then we can collect it in a in an air pump somewhere. Um, let's get another duplicate, because everyone's doing fine. Um, so you have a bottomless stomach, and you're also a binge eater, so you, you got a lot of- you eat a lot there. Um, everyone? Okay. Both are binge eaters. You have a high decor expectation. You look- your name is Bubbles, and you have the same hair, I think, as Bubbles did from- from Powerpuff Girls? Okay. You produce, I guess, polluted air? Which I'm not really happy about? I think that's what that means. Um, but you dig. And, and your stress response is vomiting, which I think is better than, than stress eating. I don't know. I'm gonna go with you because we're kind of at a food issue right now and I, I don't need- I mean, theoretically, if we're at a food- If we are having a food crisis, the best idea is not to add more duplicates into this, but- Oh, I guess the lights do turn on at night. Um, <clears throat> but- Yeah, I want more duplicates. I guess that's, that's all I have to say about that. I'm sure we'll get more food soon. Soon as these things grow up. Hopefully. Do we not? Okay. So actually, this is this is slightly a problem. I want to fix this before everyone gets super scared about everything. Is that good? Are we producing that? Cool. Um, probably need to expand the farm. I wonder how much space each one of these plants needs, because I could probably- No, I can't put another layer. I'll probably- mm, I can't expand it this way either, <clears throat> because there's- uh, a pool of water right there. Um, hmm. I mean, I could, I could put one below here, but the problem is there's also water over here. If maybe I dig a little hole over here, all the water can go this way. <clears throat> and then, can you guys reach that yet? And then I could put another farm over here. Ooh, what's wrong with the air in this area? It's uh, non-existent, seems to be the biggest thing about the air in this area. So that's not cool. Um, this is definitely pooling the water over here, which is great. So let's just dig down maybe a little bit further, although they're gonna get stuck in there and die if I know my duplicates. So let me add that ladder. And that, that should be fine. And this will all pool this way, and then I can add a farm right under here, because, yeah, I think food is definitely going to be a problem in the future. Um, Ren, what are you doing? He just, like, stood this way, turned around that way, and then turned back this way and fell asleep. If I understand him correctly. Now just turn that into food. Good job. So now we're getting- I love the cooking animation on this. It's just with the leg up and just being so theatrical about it. Oh, is everyone- okay, we don't have any research, that's why no one's doing anything. Um... I kind of want the loom. So let's go for a uh, temperature mo- oh! The, the clothing is probably for temperature modulation, so so that's why it's in insulation, because it insulates their body heat or whatever. Okay, at least I imagine that's that's how that works. Don't eat it. Yes. Cook it. Cook all of this. That's good. I mean, we're still basically on the verge of... There's... Oh, only a little bit of mush part. That's interesting. Um, we're on the verge of starvation, but we're not there yet. So I think the next episode needs to be focused on a new farm which I guess will be done by- it's getting dangerously close. Um, so let's just dig down that way, I guess. Put a ladder over there so they can get to it. Um, yeah, I really don't like it, actually, how close I made those- the polluted water can very easily get into that clean water. But, um, anyway, yeah. So the next episode's gonna be focused on, I think, better food production, because that seems to be a problem we're having, and that's gonna stress out everyone really quickly. And... I mean, that's probably it, just better food, and then whatever I said that I was gonna do that I never did is probably another thing, like maybe expanding this and fixing up power a little bit. So, that's what to look for in the next episode. Ooh, polluted water, I saw it. And I will see you guys then. Bye!